Alright, so we're just re-washing the knife. Um, so, already made one video on washing the big Durinox knife. There's still, if you listen carefully, and I'm just not going to do it now, but you can still hear there's a bit of grime in there. Um, and hopefully you can see in there there's some little bits and pieces. Now what I've got here is just some warm water with dishwashing soap. Now this one has a light, the Huntsman Pro, what's this one called, the uh, Victorinox Huntsman Light. So I'm not going to dunk this in, obviously. But yeah, you can still see even though I wash it with a bit of oil and things, there's a bit of grime still in there. So I'm just going to get it all open. You can definitely hear some little uh, sort of sandy sort of noises when you're uh, opening things. So we might better just clean this up a bit more. And where's the last one? Get this saw out of the way. There's definitely still some grime in there. So I'm just going to get this toothbrush is a bit dirty, so we'll use that one first. And just get in there. Hopefully, you can see this all right. So I'm just cleaning my knife. I've had this for oh, probably over ten years. Doesn't get used every single day, but it does get used to a fair bit. And I'm just sort of learning about how to maintain these sort of things and keep them clean. Or as I've come to learn, if you look after things, you can uh, keep them for a lot longer than if you don't. That's actually made a fair bit difference just doing that anyway. Just getting some of that grime out. So I'll just get in there. Now I actually don't use that light anyway, so if it did get out, I'm not too fast. It's pretty, uh, well, in some ways it's pretty pointless, but... Just get in there. Now, you notice I'm using a paint tray. Spotter Genius. It's a good way to control you know, a bit, more, bit of uh, water down here, and if it um, splashes, it just goes back in there. I'm getting a bit extra in there. Dry that off around that light. Now if I just half close these, I want to have a look at the ends. They will close anyway. Not too bad there. And let's half close these if I can. Some of them you can't half close. Okay, sorry if it's off screen there. It's not too bad in the end, but we'll just give it a quick scrub because that's not very hard. I was using a paintbrush in um, previously, and that just wasn't strong enough. Whereas the toothbrush is actually perfect. Give that a good scrub. I'm not too fussed. I just wanted to clean it up. Really, I'm not uh, trying to be, not trying to preserve it for the ages or anything. So just. There. Sorry if I keep uh, taking out a screenshot. On there. Bit of stuff on there. Oh, no. The small blade I actually use for cutting boxes uh, open. Uh, you know, the sticky tape and whatever, so it's probably that dirtiest, but surprisingly. Now, a few of these have got stuff on them. The saw blade I've used heaps for our plants and small branches on fruit trees and roses and stuff. So it's actually got a fair bit of sap in it, which I well, did have. It's uh, been cleaned a few times now. It's actually looking quite good. Let it dry. Just dry that off. It's looking much better than what it was the other day. Close that one down. Watch out for fingers. Now, what is happening in there? Going to open this up. I've got definitely some grime in here. There we go. So there's a big chunk of grime in the end there, and I think that's been 
just for moving it all around so I've gone to one spot which is good. Phillips looks pretty good, give that a wipe down. Scissors, let's just open that up. And the reality is if you clean things regularly, they actually don't take very long to clean, whereas if you never clean it, then when you need to, something's already rusted or stuck or you're going to have problems and it's going to take a lot longer. So regular maintenance is better, as they say. And there's a bit of stuff in the end there. Oh, that's gone. Excellent. Open that up this end. Open all of these and now the this one there's the hardest one that come up okay this time. Now definitely if you're going to clean your pocket knives don't use petrol. Um, because it can damage the plastic or well, will damage the plastic so now that is looking much better so just warm water, dishwashing soap and an old toothbrush who would have thunk it? so when I finish with this I'll put it back in the wife's uh, kitchen, uh, sorry bathroom and you know just kidding ok let's give this a dry down Ouch. So this has just been a very quick how to clean it. This was definitely very filthy. And lastly, I just want to see. Still a little bit of noise in there. Okay, so I've just gone over it all again and just individually wiped each of the blades and tools. And it's definitely come up a lot better. There's a couple of little things right down the bottom there which I can't actually get into. But I just need to let it dry and get some of this water out that will be no doubt in there and then we'll give it a bit of a little bit of oil but uh, definitely the dishwashing soap with warm water is the go so what i've done is i've just put some oil in the ends here with it, with it open and just closed them all put a bit of drops of oil in there now um, I still hear a bit of grime, so what I'll do is I'm going to leave this for a few days and do the whole process again. Hopefully this will just help move everything out. Um, it's definitely clicking shut nicely. Um, and once I've finished here I'll try and wipe off any excess oil. Let this sit on a rag for a while. Just work some of that in. I'll just open that up. So basically, I've just used a bit of this stuff, which is like a tri-flow lubricant. We use this in some machines that I work on. Uh, I don't know if it's the right thing, but it's definitely will do the job. Is it the best? I'm not sure. I know other people suggest linseed oil, but I haven't got any. So sometimes you just got to use what you've got to use, what you've got at hand. So just work that in a bit. Be careful with that one. Fold that one over. Yep, yeah, so they're all it's all closing nicely, so just put a couple of drops in the end. Oops. Open that one up again. They're definitely closing nicely, so snapping shut. I'll just give it a good wipe down. So the uh, microfiber cloth. It's definitely looking a lot nicer and cleaner than what it was. It had all sorts of dust and whatnot in there. So I might just leave it open and let this dry out and see how it goes. So thanks for watching and hopefully it's been able to assist you in maybe cleaning your knife as well.